Thinking I really wanted to go out there and, and push the boundaries of what was possible. So mobility is generally quite difficult for blind people. So I thought what well, better thing to do than see if I can go outside and learn to run solo. So I used to go down to the football pitch, position myself between some goalposts and just run up and down. You know, it's a straight line, it's a football pitch, it's hard to go wrong. You just run up and down, but during that time I began to use an app called RunKeeper. Now RunKeeper was one of the first apps which gave information through audio, so rather than having to look at the screen, you could sort of get audio updates of, you know, you've run this far, this is how fast you're running. It's quite an unusual problem. The, the ability to navigate without any visual cues is, is a, you know, it's pretty niche. I think I got up to around 10 miles where I began to think, I wonder how far I could actually run. Well, Namibia is an ultra marathon over 160 miles. And the way the race is structured is day one, two, three, four is a marathon every day. And then day five is like 45, 50 miles. Essentially, the app is incredibly simple because navigating a desert can be simple. You can break the coordinates down into a series of straight lines. Our aim was really to make the interface as simple as possible. And so it's a bit, it's like a cross between satellite navigation and the reversing sensors in your car. So if Simon is too far left from where he should be going, it beeps. To bring me back into the centre line to continue the route all the way through. So it's very simple. Well, that's exactly what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be simple, unintrusive, because I'm going to have to listen to this for quite a long time in a desert. We didn't invest a lot of effort in making the app look pretty because the audience isn't looking at it. You know, um, I was running a line that I could feel underfoot. And all we've basically done is we've used technology to create a virtual line that I don't feel underfoot, but we use audio to make sure I'm sort of maintaining a particular bearing and staying on a virtual line. So for me, the technology has solved the navigation point, so I've sort of put that in a little box. That's sorted, that's away, that's done, we're going to navigate. So now it's a case of putting all the other little pieces together and making sure you get across that desert. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.